Hey guys, welcome back to Auburn Mechanics. Today we're going to show you how to bleed the cooling system on a BMW, especially on an X3. We're demonstrating on BMW X3, so stay with us to see how we're going to do that. Most of the BMWs will be that way. On, uh, on this one we had to replace the overflow bottle right here as you can see we have the old one there because it cracked and it started leaking and we already added some antifreeze but what you need to do now before we proceed adding let me show you what you need to do first okay you need to go inside the vehicle you need to turn the key to the second position right before you start the car one two okay and you can see all the lights on and now what you need to do, you need to make sure that the heater is all the way up, all the way on maximum. Okay, it doesn't go more. You need to make sure that the fan is on. It doesn't need to be all the way up, just, just to be on. So that way it's circulating the fluid and you're not going to need to start the vehicle. Do not start it. And now you can hear the pump, the electric pump There is a electric pump that we just turn on by turning the ignition key on second position and what we need to do next we need to open that screw on the upper radiator holes so you need to remove that screw all the way and you need to make sure that you have something under the vehicle to get all the coolant that's going to leak out because it will leak somehow okay just like that and now you need to get a funnel and you need to start adding coolant and you will see air will start coming out of the upper radiator hose bleeder okay right there so you need to go slow like that and it's going to take you a while to be honest with you it's going to take you quite a bit of time to do that okay now you need to go slow you can see still air just you need to go very slow and add a little bit so that way it doesn't leak all at sudden out you can see okay you can see the air coming out so we need to do that until you make sure that there is no air coming out for probably at least 30 seconds of adding and by having the key on second position it's circulating the coolant through the cylinder head and this is the upper point right now okay you can see we need to add a little bit more and still air coming out more and more air you can see you think it's it stops but it doesn't okay as you can see we don't get any air out anymore of oh, just one bubble so need to make sure that there is no air coming out at all and okay a little bit more so we will need to add a little bit more until the point that you don't see any air because if you do you can overheat the engine and that will cost you a new engine pretty much since it's a cylinder the cylinder head is aluminum and the block as well okay we're done and what you need to do now you need to install the screw again you need to put it on and now stay with us to see what else you need to do that will prevent you from overheating and blowing up a hose or a radiator you need to do that before you finish the procedure now as you can see the radiator is way too full and it doesn't need to be that full because if it stays like that it creates too much pressure when the car gets hot and you will either mess up a hose or the radiator will blow up and you will overheat the car again so you need to get something and you need to get the coolant out of it usually we use the little coolant the tester for the coolant that tells you how good the coolant is and you need to make sure that you get enough out of it to the point that this one will not be all the way up that it can actually go a little bit down so that way you know that you didn't overfill it and that if you have a bigger one it's better because it's gonna take you less time to do that okay guys and we're done now inside you can see the floaty thing right here and as you can see it's underneath it so that's good so now we are all the way up but you can go still a little bit more as you can see so that that's perfect now and you need to run the car let it cool and check the same procedure again and make sure that your lever is good 
because it might take a little bit more and now you can turn that heater down and that's the whole procedure guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and give us a like we have a new video on our channel every day